few months ago, there was a trend of these compilations on YouTube where you get to see pictures with ambient music. But those pictures were not only random photos, they were often low quality, lonely, and most of all, strangely familiar pictures. Liminal spaces have gathered a great fan base on the internet. People all over the place are searching up for these types of photos. And with this, some started creating art around it. The best example was the backroom's creepypasta. An alternative world where it's just an infinite labyrinth with yellowish drywalls and fluorescent lights buzzing in your ear. The picture that originated this creepypasta is this picture. The emptiness, the color, and the familiarity gave people bad vibes. I will not be exploring back rooms because it was just an example. I've been watching countless of these pictures that seem oddly familiar videos, but I wasn't looking at the videos themselves. It was the comments that interested me. Some say these pictures look like they were ripped straight out of their dreams. Others say that this scares them and these places are actually real and this world is unnerving to them. But most find it very nostalgic. Liminal. Relating to a transitional or initial stage of a process. The biggest theory yet is these pictures remind us of the time of transition, the forgotten world we saw as children. And that's the fascinating part. Now I wouldn't have made this video if not stumbling upon the same type of images, but in video games. And then it hit me. Yes, it is scratching the part of the brain you never thought of reaching. And it's even bigger proof of digitally created media that does the same thing for us. These video game real life images both give us the viewers nostalgia and creepiness vibe to it. It's because of the transitioning period during our childhood. We feel nostalgia the same as anything we did during our childhood. But the particular eeriness from this trend is because of two things that are tied together. The lack of people, loneliness makes everything clear. We as children saw these pictures with people in them, but we never remembered the details, never the calmness of these memories. We just passed them as linear things that happen and will happen in our lives, like walking through a corridor. But this reminded us of our childhood. These pictures showed us the eyes of the children, what we saw but passed through as linear. And after all of this ruckus in our lives, homework, school, grades, relationships, love, money, new opinions, clothes, work, papers, letters, stress, we forgot who we truly are. So my second take on this is that we shouldn't pass this trend as a random picture compilation. I feel as we should learn from this, take inspiration and look at the world as an empty place with you only existing here. And one day the peace will remind us that this world is huge and we are still those children with an infinite imagination. And I believe that after looking at the world the other way, we will be able to create art that is different.